quick, I want you guys just to see something. Um, first of all, I know that this is a lot of information and it's a lot of stuff to look at. And uh, I imagine that whoever is watching this, it's, it's overwhelming. I mean, we've seen all these bombings printed on our money. We've seen all these images of dead sheep and hybrids and, and you know, aliens standing inside human bodies and, and uh, it's a lot. But um, I want to show you the meaning of my name. Um, I told you way back in the beginning I was going to share the meaning of my name and that my name itself would bear witness to what you're receiving, which is just impossible. Um, my name is Jonathan Cleck, and um, here's, here's the meaning of my name. God revealed my, my, the meaning of my name to me when I, I freaked out. I, I cried out to God because everything he showed me was just so heavy duty. I couldn't deal with it. I, I mean, I, there's no way I could handle all this info. And so anyway, I cried out to God and I said, you know, God, who am I to you? You know, that you would show these things to me. And I didn't really say it in a very nice way. <laughs> I mean, I was cursing, I was pissed off, and I was asking God why He would show me such things. And I said, who am I to you that you would show me these things? And at that point, He revealed to me the meaning of my name. And He, he first did it by me opening up a, a book that had artwork in it, and, and it, it had a page that said the meaning of names. And, and it said that, you know, the name Jonathan meant Yahweh has given. So. I went a little further and I went online and I checked out the full meaning of my name. And I'm going to show you right here. I went to Ancestry.com. I typed in Jonathan Cleck. And Jonathan means God has given. Uh, I went to another site and I typed in Jonathan. And Jonathan means Jehovah has given. Jehovah, Yahweh, Elohim, Adonai. Those are all names of God, the God of the Old Testament. You know, God the Father. Um, so anyway... If we just take Jonathan right here, God has given, or Jehovah has given, and then my last name, Kleck, my last name, Kleck, it means a town crier, or a messenger, or someone who used a handbell to draw attention. Okay. <laughs> now, I didn't, I didn't wake up one day and decide that all of a sudden I was going to start you know, trying to solve the mystery of our existence or anything. As a matter of fact, I was running the opposite direction, trying to uh, just pretty much please myself in this world and get as much as I thought I needed and, you know, live a fornicative, lascivious lifestyle and totally against who God is. And then God in His awesome mercy reached down and grabbed me and turned me upside down and said, now you, you belong to me and this is what I want you to do. So anyway... Jonathan Clegg means God has given a messenger, a town crier, someone that rings the bell, sounds the alarm. I'm ringing the bell, okay? That's what this is. I am going ding, 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 ding. Time is up. This is a wake-up call. It is an appeal from God just to, just to take the gift. It's a free gift. That's it. If, if some church is trying to tell you you got to earn it, they're lying to you. If they're telling you you've got to do this and got to do that, they're lying to you. Um, I heard a very, very good preacher put things one way. His name's John MacArthur. Um, I have a lot of respect for his preaching. Um, John MacArthur put it this way, and I really like the way he did it. He said there's really only two religions in the whole wide world, and those two religions are the religion of human achievement and the religion of divine accomplishment. And what that means is, the religion of human achievement comes in a myriad of just different Hindu, Buddha, you know, Islam, all these religions in the world that say, you do this or you do that and you get to heaven. This is the way to do it. Okay, that is the religion of human achievement. Then there's this other religion. It's called the religion of divine accomplishment. It means that every single thing was done for you which is what Christianity is. You don't do any of it. God did it all. All you do is accept it. That's it. You just reach up and say, save me, I'm a sinner. I'm accepting Jesus Christ as full payment for all my sins. I'm trusting God to save me through the, the substitutionary death of Jesus Christ on the cross. 
Um, if you haven't seen The Passion of Christ, I mean, I, I like the movie because it is such a just powerful example of what love is. If someone was willing to go to those lengths to save you, you know, to, to take your sins on you. Um, anyway, it's an appeal. I'm making an appeal from God that you just accept the free gift because it's eternal life and it's free. And you have an enemy, his name's Satan, and he's here to destroy you. I'm here to expose him. Uh, the next part I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna show you the part that I really don't, you know, it kinda, it's kinda a little sketchy, but um, we have to deal with the fact that the sons of God, Satan and the fallen angels, came in unto the daughters of men, had intercourse with human women. So I'm gonna briefly show you that particular scenario going on in this hieroglyph because I want you to understand the Bible's right on the money, exactly what the Bible says is exactly right. And I'm gonna show it to you. And then we're gonna move on and we're gonna solve the mark of the beast, the false prophet, and the antichrist, times here. And so that's where we're going with this whole thing. And we're almost there. So if you guys will bear with me, we'll be there in just a minute. Okay, let's see. Now, here we go. And Deanna, I'm just gonna flip pages. And, okay. and I, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with, I didn't shut it off, we can cut all this out. Oh, that's okay, I, I don't mind if it's going. And for the rest of y'all out there, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this, um, you know, this alien fornication, this fallen angel fornication with women. And I know that's tough to wrap your mind around. I mean, <laughs> just be between you, me, and the fence post and the rest of the world, when I started finding this stuff, hidden in this stuff, I just could not believe what I was looking at. It, it was just, it was mind destroying to me. But um, the Lord used me and he used my past because I had a very, you know, uh, you know, open lifestyle. Like, is one, that's like a nice way of saying it, you know. Um, anyway, and so God used that so I could recognize certain things while I was decrypting this stuff, and so it would be easier for me. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and just have a look at it and deal with it. Okay, here we go. This, right here, for anyone that has carnal knowledge at all, this, this part right here is a male member penis, and it is penetrating a female vagina right here. That's this, you're looking at actual intercourse right here. That's what that is. And I'm sorry, but that's what it is. I didn't draw the picture. I'm just showing you what it is. Okay, so let's zoom out a little bit. And now let me show you. Now I'm gonna show you this more and more. Now the alien is the representation of the male member that is penetrating the female right here. Okay, I put it in negative imagery right here just so you can have a contrast and comparison. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Dan to go over to the next page a little bit. I'll, I'll slide this over. Now, I've had the, uh, on the next picture what I've done is I've basically zoomed out on the image and I'm gonna start like painting the picture for you because the Lord lets me see it. This is a supernatural gift that you're looking at. You know, the Lord allows me to see the truth behind the lies and what's hidden. And um, then I'm gonna start coloring it in for you so you can see. Okay, this is obviously the alien. Well, I've shown you that this becomes the male member and the female, uh, you know, reproductive part of her vagina. And okay, now let's start drawing in the picture. This becomes her butt right here. Uh, it's up in the air. And now it's going down her leg to her knee and her knee's bent, and her leg is shooting out behind her body. Now, right here in the dark space is where her eyes would be, and her mouth would be right here. Her hair would be this part hanging down right here. That would be her hair hanging down, and this right here would be the hair right on top of her head. Now, this is her other part of her buttocks. This is her hip right here, and this is her leg going down to her knee and her knee bent and her leg shooting back and her foot. Now, I've colored it in. Now here's the alien, he's colored orange. Here's the penetration. Now I've started coloring her in like skin tones 
And there's, you know, 